Here's a quick look at the different types of model we can use to dig foundations. Um, three different flavours, starting with the most basic and simple and most common one out there really, because it's uh, easy to do, quick to do in the office, and it's the same kind of data that the engineers would have on their um, off machine instruments. So it's uh, centre line, normally set at finished floor level. We pick the centre line to give us dig depth and um, horizontal guidance. We have to apply an offset, obviously because it's set at finished floor level, we say this is how deep we want to go down from there. And then we get, I've got my machine turning itself off when I zoom in. So we, we go from machine to bucket to cutting edge to get some proper detail. And yeah, that does exactly what it needs to do. However, if we look at the different views, it's not really worth having a cross-section view because nothing really changes, if that makes sense. It's, it's one flat line, so not a lot of detail. So you might as well have a big screen like that. Another challenge that we have using center lines is that when we get to a corner, there I am in the center line corner obviously my trench goes beyond that by 300 mil so we have to wait for this to tell us that we're at 300 not the easiest guidance but no denying it does what it needs to do for everything else so there's number one right next up we've got surface at dig level the surface is the right thickness or the, the right width of the walls that we put out or the trenches we've got to dig um, so we get more detail with this one, we can zoom in, have a look at what's going on, go into plan view, that's what we're after. So we're getting the depth from the surface which is set at dig level so we don't need to apply any offsets and we're getting the uh, horizontal guidance from the centre line again. We could pick either of the outer walls this time um, and move the tool point over but we'll stick with the centre line for now. Because we've got a surface we can get a bit more information from here that line there is showing us where that surface ends in that corner if we start to move the bucket you'll see what i mean there is the start of the surface so it can really allow me to get my teeth into that corner like so and then I'd have to go straight down onto that or I could go 180 There's 180 and again into that corner I can turn the center line off don't really need that for this one I just want to get the bucket right in that corner Not the best in my opinion we'll go one step further next last but not least we've got a full 3d cutout model full 3d cutout of that foundation what does this mean for us the detail again focusing on that corner well, I can zoom in and I can actually see the corner looks like that it's not how we dig though we'll go plan view and then we'll go cross section these are the bits that I'm interested in. Now you can actually see that wall. Center up a bit. I can see the wall that I need to kind of face down and cut with the bucket. I can turn my horizontal guidance off, I don't even need that at the moment. I can see my trench there in my cross section view because it's a 3D cutout and I can see my long section view here on that wall so I could really hover the teeth over it or the cutting edge I've got no teeth sorry there and I could shear down that or again 
again. I could spin the bucket round. So this says 180 here. Now you can see I'm going to get my teeth on my cutting edge right into that corner. Let's zoom in here. Much better than that. 